We've got the green light, everybody. The Pokemon Battle Academy is now available here in the UK from the 31st of July, 2020. This is for anyone that's trying to get back into Pokemon or have never had a go at the TCG. So this is perfect for us parents to try and find out what to do with this stuff. So inside we get three deck boxes, you get two tutorials, one advanced book, a coin, battle counters, and of course the board to play on. Check out this mahoosive coin. It's huge with three deck boxes from Charizard, Pikachu and Mewtwo with, it, with the GX cards included. This is the set for anyone that wants to play. Let's get into the video. Welcome to Char Card, everybody. My name's Neil, but my little buddy ain't here today because it's just me going to be opening up the Battle Academy from Pokemon. As you can see, <laughs> I actually haven't even opened this up. This came in the post the other day. So it's completely sealed with air holes from Owen. Thank you very much. He said there's Pokemon in there, so they need to breathe, which I thought was pretty cute, to be honest. As you can see, I got this from Chaos Cards, uh, just because, you know, their website's quick and easy to use, I keep finding, so I get quite a few things from them. Sometimes I get from Total Cards, you know, whoever does the quickest delivery sometimes, and you know, they're all good, they're all, they're all got their pros and, well, they've all got their pros, they haven't got any cons, to be honest, half of them. They're really good, and, uh, yeah, so let's see what's inside here then. So like I said, this is the Battle Academy from Pokemon. <gasps> Look at that, it's so shiny. <gasps> so this is, hang on, this is a mess. Oh, it's not even here, it's making lots of mess. This is perfect or ideal for any family who wish they can play Pokemon. I mean, me and Owen can play it online. We're not too good of it in 30, you know, in person so we're hoping this deck this box is going to learn us how to play it so we might even do a video of us uh you know playing this just to see how we get on with it with the instructions i mean it might be a boring 40 minutes to an hour but you know it'd be fun for me and owen to try and get to play it comes with three complete pokemon tcg decks with 60 cards each as you can see you get your raichu your charizard and your mewtwo fantastic i mean we pulled these both anyway out of the uh, hidden fate sets but we're so happy to get a Mewtwo finally for Hidden Fate, so we'll be happy there. Uh, it comes with uh, two tutorial guides to play away, one two-player game board, three deck boxes to keep the cards organized, which, I mean, that's the ideal, isn't it? I mean, we keep getting screamed out by uh, mum trying to actually get these cards all organized, so having some deck boxes to put them in would be brilliant. Uh, we've got one wall book, a uh, large metallic coin, which I've heard is fantastic. So I'm looking forward to seeing this because Owen finds it hard flipping the small coin. So we'll compare the sizes there. And it comes with one set of damage counters and a code card for the Pokemon trading game online. Talking about code cards, we're just going to fly some in front of the camera every now and again. Um, just because, you know, this ain't a pack opening. So just to keep some of you occupied through this video, we're going to show some of the uh, code cards. Now, how do you get into these things? There we go. Let's see how we get on there. First of all, the box art, absolutely beautifully designed. Love it. some of the, you know, best of three Pokemon from Hidden Fates I could use. Here we go, ready for the pop? There we go, and there's the pop. So inside you get the board. Now, normally in the theme decks, you tend to get a piece of paper and they're terrible. I mean. This is absolutely amazing, this. So hopefully on the sky cam, let's make a little bit more room in it. We can see it on the sky cam. This would be brilliant for like, if you're new to this, if you're not sure of the markings and those paper theme decks, they do flap around, and your cards go everywhere. This is nice and clear and simple. So this would be a very, very good for any beginner. And uh, let's see how this is. Uh, shall I fold this away? So good. Very high quality board. It's like your game board, like a Monopoly board, um, just with a lesser family feud, shall I say. <laughs> here we go. So we get a Pikachu deck guide here. So this Pikachu deck guide. Oh, here's another code, everyone. Oh, it's gone for down that one. There we go. Pikachu deck guide. So this shows you all the cards that are included inside. I mean, you can pause it and have a look through that if you wish. It comes through how to do your moves, setting up your play. This is gonna be really good for us beginners trying to do this Pokemon stuff. 
So uh, like I said, we play a lot of the online TCG, which is really good, but to play it firsthand is gonna be a bonus for us. I mean, Owen's getting to the stage now, he's starting to make some good decks. Um, and we try to play, but sometimes it is hard. But having this setup is going to be really good. So uh, there's your Pikachu book. Very impressed with that. Love the, I love the artwork on all this as well. It's very plain, very basic, but it works really well on this set. And here comes the Charizard. This is the uh, Owen's one, knowing him. Tells you all the setting up the play again. What else we got? We got the uh, taking your first turn. Very important with Charizard. Here we go. So these are very good basic rules and how to play the game. I mean, you can't get any more simple than this. And of course, it gives you some information of each Pokemon on each page. So that's brilliant. Here's another code card, everyone. Oh, look, the battle counters. Now we keep getting, these keep getting um, lost, shall I say. They keep getting sucked in the hoover because they're all over the floor uh, all the time. So having these, well, you know, Having some more is a good backup, really. So, uh, double-sided, nice thick card again. Got your standard battle counters, probably a little bit bigger than normal. So, uh, that's pretty good. It's a good bonus. Oh, another code card. Boop. Here we go. So, here's the Mewtwo. This is the one if you're an advanced player. So, advanced rulebook. So, once you complete the uh, Charizard on the Pikachu deck, um, whoever's getting good at playing this, move on to the Mewtwo deck. So, uh, it's about the advanced rules bits and pieces so like i said we're going to do a video based on this um we're both going to play it by the rules so it's going to be an interesting book interesting game to be honest shall we say I don't, I don't know how it's going to go to be honest uh it might start off really well and then water down when we get to the end so it's actually it's going all about the prism uh, star cards and the v maxes so uh it's very current as you can see there uh all your gx's and uh yeah, actually, this is really good, this one. This is going to be a very good nighttime read, this one, I can tell. So it tells you all the basics, all the abilities, all your Pokemon checkups there. Oh, how to do a Paralyze, Confused, and Burn cards. See, because on the Pokemon TCG Online, it does it for you automatically, but when you play face-to-face, -face, you forget to do these things sometimes. So, uh, yeah, very impressive. I love, the, I love the logo as well. Really cool. A little bit higgledy-piggledy. Look at this mahoosive coin. This is fantastic. And another code card, everyone. Boop. Look at that. That is absolutely brilliant. And also, I love the way it's got, oops, lost its value straight away as soon as I dropped it. I'm loving the Charizard, Mewtwo, and Pikachu on there. That's a very good size compared to your normal size. Look, it's the same size as our Pokeballs on our printer, which will be changing very soon when Darkness Ablaze hits the horizon for us here in the UK. So what else do we get in the box? Oh look, here we, here's our deck boxes. So these look good. <laughs> these look fun to be honest. And here's another code card. Boop. I'll drop another one just for the sake of it. Boop. So this this set is ideal for parents who love seeing the kids play Pokemon and don't know how to play it and want to kind of have your Friday Saturday night uh, games. Shall I say? Do we have Friday and Saturday night games? We don't anymore. It's more like Sunday mornings and probably like two o'clock randomly, whatever day he fancies playing a game. So, yeah, this is a good set if you want all, the whole family to get engaged in Pokemon. So, oh, oh, look at the Raichu. As soon as we open up, there's the Raichu GX card. Look at that. So in these decks, and the Cynthia is where you can't have a game without a Cynthia card. As some Electra buzzes, some great balls. A loading Raichu and a Pikachu for good luck. Hi! <laughs> Electra Via, Switch. Yeah, some great cards in there. Bug Catcher, Cynthia again. One of the best cards you can play. It removes all your cards in the deck and swaps over eight new ones. Lifesaver. I mean, to be honest, especially on the online TCG. Some energies. A Chansey, another Bug Catcher. Blitzer, Bug Catcher, another energy. I love the little logos on here and it's the numbers of the cards. So. I'm being very careful when I put these back because when you play it with the get of the book, uh, you've got to keep it in order because it tells you how to play the game. So uh, I will shuffle these back into, so, oh look, Taurus, a very good card, especially the Caller family, brilliant card. Uh, I tend to play uh, with my Hidden Fates deck box on the online TGCG and um, Tauros is always a part of it. So Electrifier again. Here's another Pikachu, the Great Bull. Pokemon Fan Club, another good basic card, that one. 
Here you go. What else we got in here? So the Lone, Lone Raichu, Cynthia. As, oh, Zebra Striker. Very nice card. Very good. Good damage on that and the Match Bolt. Uh, Potion, Blitzel, Energy, Energy, Zeb Striker, Pikachu, Tauros. Good card again. How? Energy. I bet he's all going to be NJs. Because they're going to be your prize cards, I reckon. That's what we're going to do. Oh, Electra Buzz, a chance C. Here we go. Energy, energy. Pikachu. Oh, I thought the first card had to be the Blitzel. So, like I said, I am going to put those back in order. But like I said, the lovely Raichu GX. Absolutely stunning. Good card to play with that one. So they all go back nicely. And that one's marked with uh, card number 60. So that all goes back in there nicely. I like these deck boxes. These are quite sweet, actually. Uh, here's another code card, everyone. Boop. And another one saying thank you for sticking with us with this video. Like I said, it's not a normal type of video, this. This is just really an unboxing of this new Pokemon product. Absolutely stunning. Like I said, we got this from Chaos Cards, but you can get it from all other uh, online retailers. Um, I haven't seen any local stores yet. I have checked out all my local Pokemon stores nearby, but um, they're not getting any stocking for quite a while, they said. So, um, you know, unfortunately, I couldn't get it from them. So, uh, I will try shortly. So, uh, so I have got a few new local Pokemon stores open up nearby, which I'm looking forward to trying, uh, seeing their stock. So uh, hopefully some more plushies. That's what I want. So yeah, here's your Charizard. This is a gorgeous looking card. Number 60 in the Charizard deck. So there we go, another Cynthia. We're gonna have to have Welder in this pack, aren't we? Are we gonna have Welder? So we've got Charmander, Great Bull, a Pokemon catcher, a Kangastar, very good hard hitter. Very great to see the one-two punch on that one. You've got to have a Charmeleon, of course, to get your Charizard to work. Cynthia Slazzle. Great ball, bug catcher. Moltres, there we go. There's your powerhouse right here, the Fire Wing. Look at the graphics on that. That is lovely. Oh, I just love, I love the legendary birds. They're my top. No, no, you got a Flareon. You've got to have an Eevee if you've got a Flareon. Well, duh. Here we go, another great ball. Charmander in the rain. I mean, he looks so sad in there, doesn't it? It reminds me of the old uh, Pokemon cartoon years ago when uh, Ash found Charmander with his tail extinguished nearly. And there we go, there's another Charizard. Do you know what? This Charizard deck is really, really OP compared to the Pikachu one. I mean, look, Fiery Blast at 130 with some great abilities as well. Here's your energy cards and some potions. Eevee, energy, a bug catcher, great bull, a fire. Saladit, or Burnt Salad, we like to call that one. Charmeleon, How? Flareon, Eevee. There's my card. This is the card I love playing online. Attach up to two Fire Energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon if you do draw three cards. I mean, this is a great card. You got Fire Energy, Salazzo. He had to pop in there somewhere, didn't he? S Cynthia, same again. The top rated card of all time, I think. Saladit, Energy, Charmander, Charmeleon, Potion, Saladit, Fire, 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 Fire. Oh, missing that. Let me get them all better up. Salazzo, here we go. Fire, Fire. Kangastan, Fire fire and a upset charmander so there we go very good deck bit op compared to the pikachu one but the pikachu one would be quick attackers this would be more your um hard hitters but you have to obviously build up your fire energies on each one and use some of those special abilities like welder and all that so that's a good one i know what everyone's saying why don't you show the code card well i will show you it later on don't worry i'll show it randomly times to make it a little bit fair for everyone because if i show it straight away then everyone's going to take the card straight away and you know take a code card everyone but leave at least leave a few of them for everyone you know, or other viewers because a lot of people keep saying that code cards go so quick but unfortunately i have no power of that it's first come first serve and whoever gets them well done <laughs> that's all I, all I can say unfortunately so out of the mewtwo deck so this is the advanced battle deck that looks look at the size of that absolutely chunky <laughs> here we go so here's your mewtwo gx which is lovely to have pokemon catcher Psychic Energy, Potion, Synth. Cynthia had to be on every set, didn't she? Um, oh, Mesprit. Me Mesprit? Mesprit. I'm going for Mesprit. Great Ball. 
We got Psychic Energy, Bug Catcher, Switch, Psychic Energy. Oh, Marilini. Oh, this this is going to be a good set to set a play with. Wow. This would be a very quick hard hitter, that one as well. Very, very good abilities. Eevee, Ho, Potion, and a cheeky Mew had to come in somewhere, didn't he? There we go, Energy, Espion. Everyone's really going about Espion. If you, I don't know if you know this, if you go on eBay and ch check out any Espion card, the prices are flying up at the moment. I've got so many Espion cards. I mean, I should really start looking at some of my older cards I've got of them, some of the uh, shinies and all that I've got. Um, there's some lovely cards, but yeah, Cynthia, Espion, what's happening at the moment? You've got Great Ball, Spirit, oh, here we go. Oh, we had to have a cheeky little Snorlax having a sleep underneath the tree. <laughs> and a Cynthia again. Here we go. Anything else that's gonna stand out from the crowd? An Eevee, of course, you always, always have an Eevee. Quilesia. Getting good, this. There's some great cards in this set. I really have to say, the Cheeky Snorlax under a tree again. Ho, Cheeky Mew. Everything's been cheeky in this one. Here, Bug Catcher. That's cheeky, 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 cheeky. They're all cheeky in the day. This is a very, I can see how they're saying this in an advanced set. There's some very, very good cards in here. And uh, you need to know a little bit how to play the Mewtwo uh, deck, which I can understand completely. It's not the easiest deck. Uh, I wouldn't know too much how to play this one, but it tells you in the rule book, which should be really good. So, uh, I mean, it's one of those things, I think, like I said, this is great for us beginners. Uh, like I said, I'm an OG Pokemon fan. Um, I, I, I love Pokemon. I love it. I don't know all the names. I'm not that good at that stuff. Here we go. Here's the code card, everyone. Bloop. And so there's another code card. Bloop. Oh, it's a lot of this. There's some, there's some good code cards here, actually. Let's look at some random ones from, that I've got already. But like I said, it's a uh, good for basic basic Pokemon like, uh, fans like me that's trying to get into playing Pokemon again after all these years and getting hold of some of these names because some of these names are ridiculous. I can't pronounce them. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not a professional at Pokemon. I just enjoy Pokemon TCG products and cards. And that's what we do on this channel. We always show Pokemon stuff that comes out here in the uh, you know, available here in the UK. Um, but as soon as it comes out, we tend to get it out quite quickish. I mean, this has this set has been out since June somewhere. Um, not sure how long it's been in America, but it's, I'm sure it's like June, end of June it was out. So um, they had it a bit longer. There's probably a few more videos of it online, but um, yeah, we want to show that in the UK we can get these products as well sometimes. And uh, yeah, you know, we like reviewing them, see how they all go. So darkness of blazes around the corner, and we're going to look forward to all that. But thank you for sticking with us, everybody. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you to all of our subscribers. We're on 279, I believe, when I do this filming. And uh, if you haven't done so far, hit that subscribe button. We do this every Wednesday and Sunday, uh, 7 p.m. UK time. And uh, we just have fun at the end of the day. It's what Pokemon cards are all about. Thank you so much for everyone sticking with me. And uh, it's goodbye for me and goodbye from Owen, which is uh, asleep at the moment whilst I film this. Thank you. See you soon.